Hi boys and girls, we are going to be doing activity book 7.4. We're going to do numbers 5 through 10 together. And you see I've already circled numbers 1 through 4. After we've done 5 through 10 together, you're going to go back and try 1 through 4 on your own. So let's take a look at the directions. The directions say circle the nouns. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle around the word nouns so I remember that all the people, places, and things in the sentences I'm going to circle. Then next it says draw a wiggly line under the verbs. So I'm going to draw a wiggly line under the verbs. And remember verbs are all actions. They can also be those be verbs. So be, are, is. Okay, those are also verbs. And then it says, draw a box around the adjectives. The last thing they want us to do is to draw an arrow from the adjective to the noun it describes. So let's take a look at number five together. Read the sentence with me. Joe read the enjoyable story about kind pirates. The first thing I want to do is find all the nouns in the sentence and circle them. So all the people, all the places, and things in the sentence. So Joe is a noun. Read, no. The, no. Enjoyable. No. Story is a noun because it's a thing. And the other noun in the sentence is pirates. Those are people, right? So we circled our nouns. Now we're just going to draw a wiggly line under the verb, the action. What is Joe doing in this sentence? He read. Joe read. Okay, that's the past tense pronunciation for read. Now we need to draw a box around the adjectives that describe the nouns. The adjectives we're looking for in third grade, boys and girls, typically come right before the nouns because adjectives describe nouns. So here we have enjoyable, the, oops, the is also an adjective describing which story and then kind describes what kind of pirates they are. So those are the adjectives. Those adjectives enjoyable and the describes story, kind describes pirates. So we draw a line from the adjective to the noun it describes. Your number five should look exactly like mine, boys and girls, and you need to be thinking about what I'm saying as we're going through these examples, not just drawing what I draw. Number six, read it with me. The author read a scary chapter from her new book. Go ahead and see if you can circle all the nouns, the people, places, or things that are in this sentence. Author is a person, chapter is a thing, and book is a thing. So those are all nouns. Let's draw a squiggly line under the action. What did the author do? Read. She read. That's the action. Now let's draw a box around the words that describe the nouns. The describes author. A scary, those are two adjectives, describe chapter. Her describes book, it tells us which one. 
and new also describes book tells us what kind. Let's look at number seven. Some tired sailors mopped the messy deck. Excuse me, boys and girls. I thought I was going to sneeze. Some tired sailors mopped the messy deck. See if you can circle the nouns in that sentence. You should have circled sailors and deck. Those are the only two nouns. Sailors are people. Deck is a thing. Now let's draw a line under the verb. What did the sailors do? They mopped. Oops. They mopped. That's the action. That's the verb. Now let's look for adjectives. Words that describe sailors, words that describe deck, that tell which one, what kind, how many. Some tells us how many sailors. It doesn't give us a number, but it tells us some. Tired describes sailors and tells us what kind. The tells us which deck it was, and messy tells us what kind of deck. Let's look at number eight. Today, people watch huge whales from rented boats. Pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. Welcome back. Let's see if you did what I do. People, whales, and boats are all nouns. Watch is the verb. It's what the people are doing. Huge describes whales, tells what kind of whales. Rented describes the boats. It tells us what kind of boats they are. Let's do the same for number nine. The warm bread and sweet cheese tasted great. Circle the nouns, underline the verb, draw a box around the adjectives. Let's see if you got what I did. Bread and cheese are the nouns. Tasted is the verb. The and warm both describe the bread. Those are the adjectives for bread. Sweet describes the cheese. It tells us what kind of cheese. Let's look at number 10. Read it with me. The green hoses of the weary gardeners looked like slithery snakes. Go ahead and see if you can circle the nouns. Just the nouns. Did you circle hoses, gardeners, and snakes? Now let's see if you can draw a squiggly line under the verb. Looked is the verb. Now draw boxes around the adjectives. You should have a box around the and green to describe hoses. You should have a box around the and weary 
to describe gardeners. It tells us which ones and what kind. And you should have a box around slithery that describes snakes. Boys and girls, you are going to go back and do numbers one, two, three, and four on your own. Number one says, and I want you to reread these sentences when you're doing it on your own. Number one, dancers are lovely and graceful. Number two, Sophia's backyard is small and fenced. Number three, Apple trees were once small brown seeds. And number four, penguins like cold climates. And I'm going to add one more B verb here, were. Remember, these are all verbs. They're really hard to understand, I know, but it's one of those things that we just have to remember. B, R, is, were, are verbs. Take your time, boys and girls. Reread the sentences, and I can't wait to see what you do.